Hi everybody. Welcome to this week's weekly roundup and the first weekly roundup of 2022. So happy official new year. Um, last, I think last week we posted the 2021 annual roundup. Um, I try my best to keep those not long and long winded, but there's just so much that we accomplish in a year. So I think it's still under 20 minutes, maybe a tick over 15 minutes, but nonetheless worth your time to just play in your car um, or as you're kind of moving around, working in your house, whatever, or sit and listen to it and enjoy it. It's a good um, kind of summary of all the great work that we accomplished in 2021. So um, speaking of new year, we have some really good options this year, right at the beginning of the year for you to be involved. And the first is if you live in the first district, the first district alder person has had to unfortunately resign. Alderman Pash has been a tremendous asset to our city council, but will be moving out of the district. Um, and that leaves that first district seat open. So this is not a seat that will be elected in the spring election. Our even districts are up for election in the spring. This is for district one. So there's a ton of good information on our website or on our Facebook page. If you're interested or if you have questions, you can always give me a call or a call to um, the city clerk. Otherwise, just check out the information. I think we're keeping that open until the 21st. So there's some information that needs to be submitted by the 21st at 4 p.m. And then at the first council meeting in February, the city council will hear from applicants and ultimately select one. The person gets sworn in uh, and then you sit right down and you start your first meeting. And believe it or not, that's exactly how I started in a special election where I was chosen by the city council, sworn in. Um, and now, you know, nine years later, here we are. So you never know. If you have questions, let us know. Uh, we also have some uh, vacancies on our boards and committees. So we will have some vacancies on the redevelopment authority coming up, the zoning board of appeals, and then the housing authority as well. Um, so if you're interested in any of those, we have a really nice, easy form on the city website. I think it's under the mayor page, if I'm not mistaken. It's on the left-hand side uh, where it says, you know, join a board or committee. And then there's information you can fill out and we'll get in touch with you. At the end of 2021, uh, we started as a city department and city organization preparing work plans for 2022. So those work plans will come um, based off of our goals and our mission for the city. And that was how we budgeted. And so that is then how uh, we align our work for the next year. So we'll be putting all of those work plans together um, into one kind of city work plan that shows how it aligns with our goals. And I, we'll be posting those um, as social media news items um, for you to participate in and kind of understand the work that we'll be doing for this year. So watch out for those. Um, we will also be putting out, which I'm super excited about, a budget infographic. And so often I'm asked, you know, where does the money go? What do you use our revenue on? So we're gonna have some just really neat digestible um, graphics that will help people understand where we spend our money, where our money comes from, um, the, in, in certain instances, the quantity or the outcomes of things from that funding. So watch for that um, in the coming weeks. I ended the year last year kind of talking about some of the policy changes and ordinance changes we'd been looking at. And just, I think at the meeting this week, <laughs> it's only the first week of the month and I'm already wondering when we did something. Uh, we approved, um, the city council approved the changes to chapter 220. This is for our outdoor commercial entertainment. So those um, changes will now go into, an, into effect. One of those changes uh, requires um, kind of online registration of an event. So our internal city team will be working on getting that form put up on the website. Um, if you have any questions in the interim, just give a call to city hall, but otherwise we'll share information on where people can find that for registration of those events. Uh, you've probably heard a lot about the American Rescue Plan Act, or ARPA is what we call it. Um, this is federal funding that came through as a result of the pandemic. And we were alerted to this funding, I'm gonna say mid 2021, so many months ago. And we've been really, you know, kind of strategic and purposeful about, you know, evaluating the guidelines that we can spend that money on, going to our city council and asking for their input, going to different community stakeholders and asking for input. So next week at the Finance Committee, we'll be taking essentially our strategy to the Finance Committee of how to spend that money. We received, I think, just over $2.4 million. And so we're, we're looking for their permission on how to allocate those funds. And we will be asking for, permi for permission for some specific purchases as well. So if that's of interest to you, next week our Finance Committee meets uh, virtually and in person at 5.30 on Monday. Um, it's also that time of year for disposing of your real uh, Christmas trees. So there's been some advertisements, you should see those on social media, but essentially if you have a real Christmas tree to get rid of, it needs to just be the tree, no ornaments, no tree stands, no lights, and you can just put that out on the boulevard. And there's really no um, set schedule, we just try to get through the city and pick those up as frequently as we can. Um, if you have an artificial tree for some reason that you need to get rid of, that has to go directly to the street department. 
uh, but those um, real natural trees can go right on the curb. Obviously, um, as if you follow uh, the pandemic at all, we're seeing a massive uptick in uh, our numbers. We are at a higher number than I think we were um, at this point in 2020. So, or well, in December of 2020. Um, so our numbers are, are, are increasing. That is to be expected. This variant is quite contagious. Um, but with that, we've had a lot of questions, which is great, about where to get tested um, and uh, where to get vaccines. So the best place to find that information if you don't use social media is our website. Um, I think we have a, a pop-up on the website now that'll help you find um, where to get testing. Otherwise, our social media uh, pages all have information on testing and vaccine. And if you have any questions, please call. Um, obviously, we're trying to make this um, as easy for people as possible. Uh, it's certainly winter <laughs> today. Uh, and it's, it has been for the last couple days and it's going to be for a few days more. Um, but, you know, we can either choose to detest winter or we can try to embrace it. So I'm really excited. Our park and rec department has been um, kind of really diligent at trying to get out some um, fun, family friendly, individual friendly, um, all age friendly outdoor activities. So we will be renting snowshoes this year. You can do that in adult and youth sizes. All of this will be on rec desk, which you can find on the website or on Facebook. Um, the ski trails at Brent Cork have opened up. Um, and those are groomed. We just announced um, my favorite thing each winter, Silver Creek is open. The warming house won't be open until next weekend, but the pond is open and safe for skating. Um, we are doing ice skating rentals. So if you wanna try ice skating, you don't have skates, you can rent some on um, Rec Desk as well. And then the ice skating lessons, we're starting to get those put together. So we were in contact, trying to get in contact with the instructor to get those lessons assembled. Um, and we do have a lot of people interested. So that's really exciting. Uh, there are some other new and some reoccurring pos um, uh, recreational opportunities that we get a lot of positive feedback on. So kickboxing is back and it's back in the evening, which I might even try to sneak in participating in. I love that class, but it, they were doing it just during the day. So now it's in the evening as well. Um, we are doing a bracelet making class for grades four through eight, and that's on February 2nd. We're offering gentle yoga, which is a nice new offering. The ever popular babysitter uh, training course is back. Youth archery, which is really popular, is back. The lifeguard training class, which is also very popular, is back. Um, and then we're still doing swim lessons and indoor pickleball. So all of that is on the Park and Rec page or on the Rec Desk. Um, if you follow the police department or our city website, you'll see we swore in a new police officer yesterday, which is an exciting um, milestone for us as a city. And then we also had our D.A.R.E. graduations kind of in this break of me doing the weekly roundup. So congratulations to all of our D.A.R.E. graduates. I miss being able to speak to you in person about how important that program is. And, um, so if you see this new Vidare graduate, please pass along my congratulations to them. And a special congratulations to Maggie, who is the Dare essay winner. I know that is a tough competition to win, so congratulations to Maggie. And then last, another congrats uh, for our very own uh, county champion for the Deck the Halls, Lights on Pleasant Heights, which I think I went to a ridiculous, like an embarrassing amount of times maybe. Uh, my, our boys love the lights at that home. They love all the lights throughout the city, but congrats to the owners of Lights on Pleasant Heights. You guys put on a great show, and we thank you for um, all the effort that went into that, and to all of our other community participants that participated in uh, Deck the House as well. So it's gonna be a cold one, nonetheless, but there are so many opportunities. You heard me rattle through just maybe a handful or two of different options uh, to enjoy the outdoors. I know we went out and did the Storybook Trail not that long ago, and it's a really neat book. Um, we hit some rocks, so if you find rocks out there, they'll be out there as well, but the opportunities are endless. It's gonna be cold, but if we bundle up appropriately, it's still a good opportunity to get out and enjoy the city. So have a good weekend, everybody. We'll see you back next week.